Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be what I bought my toddler for Christmas and what we included in her wish list that we gave out to family for Christmas. So for those of you that are new, my daughter Brinley is 15 months old. She will be 16 months old when Christmas is actually here. So these are going to be mostly age appropriate toys for younger toddlers. But not all of them. A lot of them are actually toys for one, two, or three year olds. I do tend to get her some things that are maybe a little above her age category, but I think that that's fine depending on the child. You know your child's best and where they're where they are developmentally, and I think with the right supervision, toys for a three year old would be just fine for toys for a one year old. So with that in mind is how I put this list together. We are getting her five main Christmas presents and I think five or six stocking stuffers, just little things to put in her stocking. And then like I said, I will go into what we put on her wish list for family if they wanted to purchase her a gift. Everything that I talk about, I will link down below. And for those things that I don't have yet, I will put pictures here so you can see what they look like. Right now, all I have to show you in my hands is some of her stocking stuffers that I picked up at Target. The rest is on its way from Amazon. Love doing my Christmas shopping through Amazon. I don't know about you guys. So everything that I can link will be linked down below. And I also did this video last year when she was about four months old. So that list will be definitely more for the baby age range from like three to six months, even up to a year. She used some of those toys. And I will link that video down below in case you also have a younger baby on your Christmas list to shop for this year. So like I said, I stopped in at Target the other day and found a majority of her stocking stuffers. I had a couple of these things already in mind, but some of them... I just stumbled across while in the store and thought that they would be perfect. And a really good place to look for these is like on the end caps of the toy section. They have a lot of really good miniature sized toys versions of like the bigger toys that are actually in the aisle. For example, this first one that I purchased is this adorable little mini baby doll. And they had a few different options. They were pretty picked over, but it looked like they had... Um, some diversive options depending on what kind of baby doll you wanted and the brand is called perfectly cute my little baby it does say ages two plus but i mean i don't think she can harm herself with this in any way so she loves baby dolls and i think that this would just be one really easy for her to take on car trips and stuff like that it's just a lot smaller easy to throw in my diaper bag if she wants a little toy with her on a trip out of the house so I will include that in her stocking this year. Something else I found in the toy section was Play-Doh. Brinley has never owned Play-Doh yet. She has played with some at a neighbor's house a couple of months ago and really liked it. This is one of those that I obviously would not let her play with unattended just because I don't want her to put it in her mouth. Obviously it's non-toxic, it's made for little kids, but still not something I necessarily want her to ingest. But I just got her one tub for now in her favorite color, which is purple. They do have um, some that come like in a pack of several colors in much smaller tubs, but I just got one for now. I think this was like 50 cents. Super inexpensive stocking stuffer. Next, I picked up this little mini book from the book section at Target. This is just Dr. Seuss's ABCs in just the miniature version. This is perfect for Brinley's age right now because we've been talking about ABCs a ton. I try to get her to repeat letters back to me a lot and it just gives you, you know, some things that different letters stand for and she loves books and I love that this is hard pages because she does have some Dr. Seuss books already but they're paper pages so we I still kind of keep them put away because she's not real gentle with paper pages yet but these hard cardboard pages are absolutely perfect for her age range. And the last thing I picked up at Target was some bubble bath. This is by their Cloud Island brand and it is sensitive care soothing bubble bath, organic lavender and orange essential oils. So she has yet to have an actual bubble bath. I don't know why, I just don't really think about it. So I thought that this would be fun for her to have her first bubble bath and we were running low on baby shampoo anyways. So thought I would pick some of this up at Target. Two more things I have to pick up for her stocking. 
One is on its way from Amazon, and that is just a small toddler pair of sunglasses. I'll put a picture here of the ones I picked out. I think they were just solid pink, if I remember correctly. But a friend of mine's daughter has some sunglasses, and when we were over at her house playing, I think it was like last week, Brinley had them on and just thought she was the cutest thing and was walking around like a little movie star and loved them. So mental note, I thought I have to get her a pair for her stocking for Christmas. And then one other thing that I need to pick up, probably at the Dollar Tree, because for some reason, this is a lot harder to find than you'd think it would be, but I just want to get her a small bottle of bubbles, just regular bubbles with a regular wand, not one attached to a machine or a huge like refill bottle. I just want like a small bottle of bubbles. <laughs> Brinley loves bubbles and we are out of the bottle we currently have. So Target did not have anything that simple that I saw. I even looked like in the bullseye playground like dollar section. I didn't see anything um, that was just a small bottle. It didn't come with like a whole kit. So I'm going to check the Dollar Tree, think they might have something like that. If not, I'll see what I can order off Amazon, and I definitely want to include some new bubbles for her stocking, and I think that will conclude her stocking for this year. Okay, now I will move on to the main presents from us, and the first thing that we got for her is a pink John Deere baseball cap. So Brinley is in this phase where she loves hats. My husband will put his baseball cap on her all the time and she loves it if he's wearing one when she when he's holding her, she will try to take it off of his head and put it on her head and she just thinks it's so cool to wear a hat. So that's when I kind of realized she doesn't have any hats at all. I actually just had to order one for cold weather because it's been a lot colder here in Georgia lately than I've expected. But other than that, she really didn't have any hats at all for her age. So we ordered her this cute little pink John Deere baseball hat. The next thing we are getting for her this year is the Crayola Color Wonder paper and markers. So Brinley has kind of gotten into coloring. I have some Melissa and Doug like chunky crayons that she scribbles on with paper and she's kind of starting to get an interest in it. This might not be something that like totally is her jam right away and that's fine, but I like the idea of the fact that they only color on this special paper. They're not gonna get on the table that the paper's underneath or the wall that she's coloring next to or anything like that. Not that I would let her color unattended anyway, but you know, toddlers are quick and it's better to be safe than sorry. So I like the idea of this and markers are obviously a lot um, bigger than like some of the smaller crayons or colored pencils or anything like that. So I thought it would be a fun way to continue to introduce um, coloring to her by using this kit. The next thing we got her is the Melissa and Doug band in a box. I think this is a genius gift the way it is put together. It literally comes in like this um, wooden crate so it you store it in the box that it comes in and let me pull up what all the instruments are that it comes with so the band in a box comes with the wooden crate like I said and it has um, many musical instruments and those in instruments are a tambourine cymbals maracas a clacker tone blocks and a triangle triangle with like the little metal stick that you play the triangle with which is perfect because a lot of these kits I was seeing already came with a xylophone and Brinley already has one. So I didn't want to like get her something with a toy that she already owns. So this is perfect. This is much smaller than the other like really big musical instrument kits I was seeing on Amazon. And like I said, it's perfect for storing and I absolutely love Melissa and Doug toys, which you will kind of pick up on as I go through this list. I just think they're really well made and I, think they're great toys so yeah I think she's going to really enjoy that and I know that they're noisy and some of you think I'm crazy for getting my kids something so noisy but honestly it's better to me than a battery powered electronic toy it's something that she's making the noise come out of and I just think it's something that can really help her be creative the next thing we are getting for Brinley is the leapfrog 100 words book 
this I think is going to be such a hit with her. It comes in a lot of different options. We got like the girly pink and purple one and it's got all different categories as you open through it and it does um, run on batteries. So as you press pictures in the book, it tells you what they are, which is absolutely perfect for her age. They have different categories like activities, things you see outside, food at mealtime, clothes, totally perfect for her age like I said goes along with a lot of things we've been practicing and working on and I think it's really going to help extend her vocabulary even more so I'm definitely excited for her to get this one. The last present that we are getting for Brinley is the Melissa and Doug dust sweep and mop set. Now I know that this is more so for older kids in fact if you look through the pictures on Amazon it's got like three and four year olds playing with it but I really think she's going to enjoy it, and it's something she'll obviously enjoy for years to come. I do most of my house cleaning while Brinley is napping, but I do some chores when she's awake, and one of the main ones I do a lot when she's awake is dusting, because it's kind of up off the floor and she's not really like in my way. And she always tries to take my Swiffer duster. She loves to play with it. It's obviously not something I really want her to play with, because it's got dust and stuff on it. So this is perfect. It comes with a mop, a broom, a little dustpan, and like a little mini handheld broom, and a duster that actually looks a lot like my duster. It's yellow just like mine and everything. So I thought that this would be fun for when I'm cleaning. I can give her something to clean with and help me and just help her feel more involved. And I think she will really, really enjoy this gift. Now I'll just go through some things that I put on Brinley's wish list that we gave out to family. I really didn't put any clothes on there this year because she pretty much has everything she'll need except for like a few things here and there that I just pick up myself. And I've found that it's really hard ordering clothes online for her age. Some things are snug and some things run huge. So I just didn't include a lot of clothes except for this one item that I could not resist. And it's just this pink t-shirt that says coolest big sis. As you guys know, I'm expecting baby girl number two. So she will be a first time big sister come April. And I could not resist this adorable pink t-shirt that says that. I also added this Munchkin Miracle Stainless Steel 360 cup. All of her cups right now are um, sippy cups. They have like a straw. So I thought that this would be really good practice for her to drink out of something without a straw. It is, from what I've heard from Munchkin cups like this, it's like spill proof for the most part. And I like that it's stainless steel because if we're out and about, it will hopefully keep her drink colder longer. I also added a Montessori inspired busy board. This one is kind of expensive, but I just stuck it on there as like an idea of if anybody wanted to get her something like this, it doesn't have to be this specific one, but it's just got like different handles and zippers and locks and like shoestring to tie and just different things for them to explore. I've seen a lot of similar things like this and I just think they're a really cool idea. I did put a snail run magnetic doodle board on here. She can lay it flat in her lap or pop the legs out and it becomes like a little table. And it's like one of those little magnetic pens that kind of leaves the gray line as they doodle. Thought that would also be fun for her starting to learn how to color and whatnot. I added some wooden sorting and stacking toys. These come in different shapes like square, rectangle, triangle, and circle. And you kind of have to match them up with the pegs. And I just thought that was really good for her fine motor skills and doing stuff like stacking. She really likes stacking things on top of each other. So thought that she would enjoy that. I added the Teach My Toddler Learning Kit. This I'm really excited about. I know that she actually did get this for Christmas from a family member. So really excited about this. It's basically, I, I think, it's different sets of flashcards that talk about like colors, letters, numbers, um, all different shapes, stuff like that. Just a lot of stuff that we're actually been working on lately and just in like a flashcard form. I'm not sure what all comes in the kit. I just saw it and immediately thought, oh, that's amazing. It comes in like a little carrying case. So really excited to explore that with her. I did add a Fire 7 Kids Edition tablet to Brinley's Christmas list. And I put it in the color purple, of course, because Brinley loves purple. And I know that a lot of people have different opinions when it comes to screen time with babies and toddlers, and that's completely fine. I totally respect your opinion if you do not allow your young children to have screen time. 
I do, okay? And I just ask for that same respect in return. I think we all do the best we can. For some of us, that involves screen time. For some of us, that doesn't, and that is fine either way. Brinley does get a little bit of screen time every day, and honestly, I think it's really helped build her vocabulary. It teaches her songs that we sing together that she knows some of the words to, and for me, as long as you're monitoring how much time they get, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. And I think with new baby sister coming, this is something that's just going to come in handy. She's probably going to get more screen time than she usually does when we have a newborn in the house, and that is okay. This is also something we can use on long car rides, which we do go on frequently to visit our hometown. And yeah, I just think that this will come in handy. And again, it's something she can use for years to come. I did put a Melissa and Doug Deluxe Pounding Bench. This is just one of those wooden little benches with the pegs that stick up and you take the wooden hammer and you like pound them down. I did put an activity cube on here. These always remind me of doctor's offices as a kid. Anytime I had to go to the pediatrician, I remember seeing these kind of toys in the doctor's offices. I don't know, that's what they remind me of. But it's got like the little spiral maze for the bead on top and on the sides it's got different like shape sorting and it's got like a little swirly thing for a bug to go up and down. Um, something else I added that I'm really excited about, I know my mom got this for her for Christmas and this was like one of my favorite kinds of toys as a kid so it's something I'm like really excited for her to discover and that is play food. I got the Melissa and Doug food groups and it's got four wooden crates with all the different food groups. Let me pull up uh, what they are. So it's got the dairy, the produce, the grains, and the meat and fish. And they have all the different food in the different crates. So this is gonna be perfect because Brinley already has a play kitchen. All she has in there right now is like dishes and cups and like a little pot and pan. So this is perfect. This can go right in the little refrigerator. We already have the space for it and I think she is going to love it and I can't wait to play with her with it. I did add a pair of cowgirl boots on here. I just thought they were adorable. She does have a pair that were like passed down from a friend of mine. Um, that she hasn't worn yet but these are so cute they just have like a brown sole and then the tops are pink and they're adorable and she's going to have her share of boots if she's anything like me as she grows up so you know I just thought these were cute so I added those on there I also added some picky paint which is just some non-toxic nail polish believe it or not she's yet to have her fingernails or toenails painted she really would not sit still long enough for that but I added this on there, we can give it a shot. It's got um, different shades of pink and like a purple in there, real girly colors. And then the only other couple things I added on here was a couple of little Baby Bum DVDs. Brinley is obsessed with Little Baby Bum. It's been her favorite show for several months and we do actually have a DVD player in our car in like the headrest of the front seats. And even though Brinley is still rear facing, she can see the little TV monitors in her mirror. So on long car rides, if she's starting to Get a little cranky and a little wanting to get out of her car seat i will turn this on and even though she can't hear it because i don't let her wear the headphones unless someone's like sitting back there with her um so she doesn't like chew on them or anything even though she can't hear it she can still see it in her mirror and it does kind of help her relax a little bit more for the long car rides okay guys that completes my what i got my toddler for christmas i hope that this gave you some good ideas if you're stumped on what to get your kiddos for christmas or your nieces and nephew, grandbabies, whatever it may be. I hope that this list helped you out a little bit. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching today, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.